Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about theory of BJT operation and from the book by Mr. Bogart. And primarily here uh, I'll be explaining what is ICBO and then we'll be solving exercise 4.4 .4 given in the book and this is on the request of a student. Now let's have some uh, preliminary idea about uh, the biasing. If you just consider the base emitter biasing, you can see this is N, this is P. So P size is, uh, side is connected to the positive and N is with the negative. Therefore, this diode will be uh, forward bias. So the current or the electron current actually, electron current will flow from emitter to base as it has been shown here. So this is the majority carrier diffusion current it is called and E sign shows that we are talking of electron current and I hope you know that the conventional current will be opposite of this. So the conventional current will be from right to left. Okay. Now the current here, this current will be called alpha times E. Now the, the current here is IE, but the moment it crosses the base, some of the current uh, or some of the electrons are lost in the base uh, due to recombination. So the remaining electron that come into the collector, their value will be equal to alpha IE. So this is one of the values. And now if we uh, take the other part that is the collector and base, this is connected with the battery in the manner shown here. So this is actually the reverse bias because the positive of the battery is connected with the negative and negative of the battery is connected with the P type. So this diode is reversed bias and so technically no current should flow but there is a minority carrier drift a small current or some electrons due to the minority carrier flows into uh, from P to N type or from base to collector. And now this is called ICBO and what is this means that the I current between collector and base between collector and base when emitter is open O is emitter is open you can see in this case emitter is open. So we can say that the total current will be sum of this and this. So the total current or the collector current will be sum of alpha IE plus ICBO when the complete circuit is connected like this. So just addition of these two. Or okay, now let's uh, compare the transistors with the diode. This portion only, so this is a PN diode, so here also it is PN diode and as we discussed the there will be an electron flow but because this is a reverse bias so there will be a very very minor electron flow that is known as a reverse current and this is the electronic current direction and if you consider the normal current direction or the conventional current direction it will be opposite. So, the, here the current was ICBO in case of a transistor, but in case of a diode it is called reverse current because uh, this does not have the collector base etc. So this is the reverse current and they are exactly same. So ICBO of a transistor is exactly same as the reverse diode current. Now very important point that the reverse diode current IR 
in a diode consists of two parts. One is a minority carrier current, IS. This is also called the saturation current and it is highly dependent on the temperature. And the other part is the surface leakage current. We name it ISL. So the reverse current IR is equal to the surface leakage current plus the saturation current. Now with this idea, now let's uh, proceed to, uh, so for a transistor we can write that ICBO is equal to exactly same thing, IC, ISL plus IS. Okay, now we'll uh, solve the assignment question. A germanium transistor has a surface leakage current of 1.4 microampere and a reverse current due to thermally generated minority carrier 1.2 nanoampere at 10 degree centigrade. If alpha is 0 0.992 and emitter current is 0 0.8 milliampere, find the collector current IC at 10 degree centigrade and at 90 degree centigrade and assume that the surface leakage is independent of temperature. So let's proceed. First of all, this is the formula for collector current, alpha I E N plus I C B O. And we also learned that I C B O is basically surface current plus the saturation current or uh, minority current or leakage current. So IS is the minority carrier current and ISL is the surface leakage current and from the question minority carrier current is 1.2 nanoampere at 10 degree centigrade this one and the surface current is given to be 1.4 microampere and it is also says that the assume that the surface leakage current is independent of temperature so this does not change this does not change with temperature but this one changes with temperature okay so uh, now we will calculate the current at 10 degree centigrade first of all we calculate icbo which is from this the summation of isl plus is and ISL is 1.4 given from here and uh, IS is 1.2 nanoampere. So solving we find this value of ICBO and now that we know ICBO we can calculate the collector current IC uh, by this formula. Now alpha is 0 0.992 given in the question. IE is 0 0.8 milliampere and ICBO we just calculated. So the collector current at 10 degree centigrade is 0 0.795 milliampere. And now we'll uh, come at 90 degree centigrade. And now before calculating the collector current, let's understand what changes occur in IS. Now we know that IS doubles with every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature. So here the rise in temperature is from 10 degree to 90 degree. That means it will double uh, 10 minus uh, 90 minus 10 divided by 10. That is 8, 8 times. So IS will double 8 times. And so we can write it that IS at 90 degree will be 2 raised to the power 8 into IS at 10 degree. So 2 raised to the power 8 is for doubling 8 times. And so ICBO, this is a constant, the surface leakage, but this one is, has changed now, this value we incorporated for IS. And so in this case now ICBO is 1.7072 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 ampere. And now we are ready to calculate the collector current IC, same formula, plugging in the values. Uh, the new IC at 90 degree is 0 0.7953 milliampere. So I hope this gives you an idea as to how to calculate this type of a 
um, problem or solve this type of a problem. And primarily, if you note that because uh, the value of the surface leakage current is much higher than the uh, minority current or IS, so there is not much significant change in these values uh, from 10 degree to 90 degree. Thank you.